let me move on to di number 8 so friends here they have given two table chart right the first is table chart is the percentage of obesity men obesity children and obesity women so we can say that all the values are given in percentage and the second chart where the total number of women and total number of women and total number of children that is from the year 2004 till 2009 so friends they have given only two chart and the first chart is the obesity and the second the person who are suffering from men women children who are suffering from obesity and the second chart is the total number of men children and women from the year 2004 till 2009 okay friends let me move on to all the various questions based on this chart so question number one the number of obesity men in the year 2009 is what percentage of men not suffering from the obesity in the same year so friends our target to find obesity men in the year 2009 is what percentage of men not suffering from obesity so friends always remember one thing every time i'm repeatedly saying that in the question if you find is what percentage then the question will be definitely in the format called x is what percentage of y so the resultant will be x divided by y into 100 so i can say that the numerator x that is men who is suffering from obesity in 2009 so the denominator y men who is not suffering from obesity in the same year that is 2009 so friends first of all in 2009 where the total men are 78,000 friends so i can say that totally there are 78,000 out of this first of all let me target how many men who are suffering from obesity so friends we can surely say that 37.5 percentage of men in the year 2009 who is suffering from obesity so i can say that 37.5 percentage of men in the 2009 who are suffering from obesity from this total 78000 right so i can say that 78000 into 37.5 divided by 100 so this can be written as 78000 into 375 divided by 1000 friends got the logic i'm just removing the decimal point so we can cancel 30 similarly we can cancel 30 so this can be written as 375 into 78 so friends the most important thing right so 375 into 78 we need to multiply this value faster friends you should not go for the schooling methods to multiply this numbers right though you follow any method but be faster right that is the most important thing so 375 into 78 for, for friends my methodology is this can be written as 375 into 70 plus 8 so friends go the line i'm just splitting the 78 into 70 plus 8 so first of all i'm just going to multiply this by 70 and i'm going to multiply this by 8 so i can say that 7 5 is 35 the remainder will be 3 so 7 7 is 49 49 plus 3 will be 52 the remainder will be 5 so 7 3 is 21 21 plus 5 will be 26 so 26250 secondly i need to multiply this 375 into 8 8 into 5 will be 40 the remainder will be 4 so 8 7 are 56 56 plus 4 will be 60 the remainder will be 6 so 8 3 is at 24 24 plus 6 will be 30 so i can write this as 2 9 2 5 0 so friends finally i got 29,250 is the total number of men who is suffering from obesity first of all we have found the numerator part and second thing we need to find how much of men who are not suffering from obesity friends listen carefully we know that 78,000 is the total men out of this 78,000 I can say that 29,250 who is affected from obesity so I can surely say that if I subtract both the values then I can easily find the men who are not suffering from obesity so 78,000 minus 29,250 will be 48,750 friends so I can say that 48,750 so 48,750 who is not affected this will be affected so friends our target to find x is what percentage of y so in the numerator part will be 29,250 and the denominator part will be 48,750 so let me substitute all the values 29,250 divided by 48,750 into 100 i think we can cancel 0 and 0 friends so 4875 into 6 times if i cancel this on 6 times it will be 29250 so i can say that 6 into 10 the resultant will be 60 percentage so finally i got the answer 60 percentage for question number 1 so friends in this di we need to understand the concept clearly that is the most most important thing and secondly we should not use a normal traditional method to multiply all the numbers right so always be faster in multiplying don't follow the schooling methods 
follow any other method but you should calculate the multiplication terms faster so friends finally we got the answer for question number one that is 60 percentage question number two what was the total number of children not affected from obesity in the year 2004 and 2005 together so friends our target to find the total number of children who are not affected by obesity in the year 2004 and 2005 together okay friends first of all in 2004 right the children total number of children are 15,000 and 2005 the total number of children are 21,000 but our target to find children who are not affected by obesity so friends in 2004 we can say that the children who are affected by obesity is 15 percentage that is 15 percentage is the children affected by obesity but our target to find not affected so friends if 15 percentage is affected from 100 percentage if i subtract 15 percentage then i can surely say that 85 percentage of students who are not affected by obesity so friends next target 2005 in 2005 the children who are affected by obesity is 10 percentage so i can surely say that 100 percentage minus 10 percentage so 90 percentage of the children who is not affected by obesity in the year 2005 so i can say that 90 percentage of the children who are not affected by obesity so friends 2004 right 2004 where we have 15,000 so out of this 15,000 our target to find what is 85 percentage similarly in 2005 21,000 so in 21,000 our target to find what is 90 percentage so friends I think we can cancel 0 and 0 similarly we can cancel both the 0 friends similarly here we can cancel 0 0 and 0 0 so finally the values are 150 into 85 plus 210 into 90 okay so friends we need to multiply the values faster that is the main aim right okay this 150 into 85 friends i'm just going to multiply this by 150 into 80 plus 5 right this is the easy way for me if you follow any other method not not to worry about anything but multiply this value faster right okay so friends 150 into 80 plus 5 first of all we can draw 2 0 because 0 into 0 2 0 and 8 5 is a 40 reminder will be 4 so 8 into 1 will be 8 8 plus 4 will be 12 so finally we got 12,000 second 150 into 5 150 into 5 will be 750 so finally I can say that 12,750 friends that is the children who are not affected by obesity in the year 2004 is 12,750 so secondly we need to multiply this right so 210 into 90 okay we can put 2 0 so 9 into 1 will be 9 9 into 2 will be 18 so friends finally we got 18,900 children who is not affected by obesity in the year 2005 but our target to find the total number of children right so we need to add both the values friends so i think 18,900 and uh, 12,750 the resultant will be 31,650 so I can say that 31,650 will be the total number of children who are not affected by obesity in the year 2004 and 2005 question number three what is the ratio for men not suffering from obesity in the year 2007 and 2008 to the children not suffering from obesity in 2005 and 2006 so friends our target to find the ratio that is for the year 2007 and 2008 men not suffering from obesity to the two th year 2005 and 2006 the children who are not suffering from obesity so friends the question is so simple right but our target to calculate the answer faster that is our only aim right if we use a normal traditional method we can't able to solve this question within 30 seconds or one minute it will take you more than two minutes so friends i am not at all going to use any shortcut simplify the method right that is my only aim so friends first of all 2007 2008 just see how, how many total men's are there 2007 we can say that 66000 friends so 66000 total right so plus second thing 2008 we can say that 70000 so 70000 is the total so ratio second thing 2005 and 2006 that is children so 2005 the total children's are 21000 so friends similarly in 2000 i think 2005 and 2006 so 2006 were 12000 okay 
Okay, friends. Next thing, in 2007, just see how much of men who are not suffering from obesity. So, friends, 2007, 35 percentage of men suffering from obesity. So, our target to find not suffering from obesity. So, 100 minus 35, the resultant will be 65. So, I can say that 65 percentage who are not suffering from obesity. That is men. Next, 2008, friends. So, similarly, 32.5, 100 minus 32.5 will be 67.5. So, 67.5 percentage men who are not suffering from obesity. Secondly, 21,000, next target is children. So, 2005, the children are 10 percentage affected from obesity. So, I can say that 90 percentage is not affected from obesity. And secondly, 2006. So, 25 percentage are affected. So, 75 percentage are not affected. So friends, I am just writing this step only to understand, right? In your exams, kindly don't write this step. It is useless and waste of time. See, here, friends, in all the values we have a percentage, right? So I can surely say that we can eliminate all the percentage. So friends, got the logic? In all the values we have a percentage, so we can directly strike strike out all the percentage, friends. So we can remove all the percentage. Secondly, in all the values where we can find three zero. Three zeros, three zero, and three zero. So we can eliminate all the three zero friends. So three zero and here three zero. Similarly, we can cancel three zeros and three zero. Friends, remember that you should not cancel in any one term, right? We need to if I target to cancel zero, we need to cancel zero here, the second term, and here and here. So all the term we need to see the common thing, right? Okay. Next thing we can just sixty uh, six into sixty five, and the remaining are seventy into sixty seven point five. So ratio secondly twenty one into ninety plus twelve into seventy five. So friends listen here. It is sixty five, sixty seven point five, ninety and seventy five. So we can easily cancel all the terms in five table. If I try to cancel this on five table, which will be thirteen. If I try to cancel this on five table, friends. So one five is a five. A reminder will be one seventeen. Five three is a fifteen. A reminder will be two. So five five is a twenty five. Thirteen point five. So here we have sixty-six, and here we have seventy. Secondly, here if I cancel this on uh, five table friends, if I cancel this on five table, one five is a five. Reminder will be four. Eight five is a forty. So twenty-one into eighteen. If I cancel this on five table, so this can be done. One five is a five. Reminder will be two. So fifteen friends. Okay. So sixty-six, thirteen, seventy into thirteen point five, twenty-one into eighteen, twelve into fifteen. So friends, I think we can in all the values we can eliminate in uh, two table friends. If I cancel this on two table, that is thirty three. So finally, if I eliminate this sixty six in two table, which is thirty three. So this can be written as thirty three into thirty. If I cancel this on two table, which is thirty five into thirteen point five. Similarly, if I cancel this on two table friends, this will be nine. So twenty one into nine. If I cancel this on two table, that is six. So six into fifteen. Try to cancel whether we can cancel anything friends. I think. Uh, We can again cancel this on three table, right? If I cancel this on three table, eleven into thirteen. So plus, if I cancel this on three table, friends. So four threes are twelve, right? So four threes are twelve. Reminder will be one. So five threes are fifteen. So thirty five into four point five. Ratio. If I cancel this on three table, this will be seven. So seven into nine. If I cancel this on three table, that is two. So two into fifteen. So finally, nine seven are sixty three. Five fifteen into two will be thirty. Right, so 35 into 4.5 will be 35 into 45, 157.5. So I can write that 157.5. So 11 into 13, so 3, 4, 1, so 143. So if I add all the value, 93. So 3 not 5, so 300.5 into 93 can be written as 3005 is to 930. So friends, try to cancel this on five table. If I cancel this on five table, six not one. Similarly, if I cancel this on five table, one five is a five. Reminder will be four. Eight five is a forty. Reminder will be three. Six five is a thirty. So friends, finally I can say that the answer will be six not one is to one eighty six. So friends. If you follow a normal traditional method, think that it will surely make it two minutes. If you are strong in percentage, calculating a percentage, even though if you are strong, we need to find this value and we need to add. Similarly, we need to find this value, then we need to add all the values. Then finding a ratio will be very very difficult. So friends, don't think that it is a long procedure. If you practice more than ten questions similar to this type, so that you can able to solve all the question faster, and also you can cancel all the values faster, right? So friends, by watching this video, you can't able to solve it, right? If you need to practice, you need to practice a lot so that you can able to clear all the question within one minute.
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नंबर ऑफ ओबीस वुमेन एंड ओबीस चिल्ड्रन टूगेदर इन द इयर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स टू द नंबर ऑफ ओबीस मैन इन द सेम इयर so friends our target to find the difference right the difference for the total number of obesity women and obesity children in the year 2006 to the total number of obesity men in the same year okay first of all in 2006 we can say that the total number of women are 60000 friends so 60000 is the total number of women so out of this 60000 in 2006 where we can say that 20 percentage are affected by obesity secondly uh, we need to find obesity children so in 2006 where the obesity total number of children are 12000 so out of this 12000 where the obesity children are 2006 the total number of children who are affected by obesity will be 25 percentage so for this we need to find the difference to number of obesity men in the same year okay 2006 where the total number of men are 63000 okay so out of this 63000 2006 where we can see 32.5 percentage or the total number of men who are affected by obesity so friends 20 percentage i think we can cancel 0 0 so 600 into 20 will be 12000 so 12000 plus next thing is 25 percentage friends i think 25 percentage will be 1 by 4 that is 3000 so i can say the 3000 so totally we got 15000 so friends 15000 is the total number of obesity men sorry obesity women and obesity children in the year 2006 So secondly we need to find what is 32.5 percentage that is the total number of men who is affected by obesity in the year 2006 So friends listen carefully this can be written as 63000 into 325 divided by 1000 friends got the logic because in order to remove the decimal point divided by 10 so 100 into 10 will be 1000 so that we can easily cancel three zeros So finally we got 63 into 325 So friends we need to multiply this so i can write this as 325 so friends listen carefully 325 into 60 plus 3 this can be written as 63 can be written as 60 plus 3 so finally 65 is a 30 remainder will be 3 62 so 62 into 2 will be 12 12 plus 3 will be 15 remainder will be 1 63 is a 18 18 plus 1 will be 19 Secondly, we need to multiply this 325 into 3, right? So we can say that 325 into 3 will be 975, right? So we can say that 975. So 5740. So friends, so 20,475 friends. 20,475 is the total number of men who are affected by obesity in the year 2006. Where 15,000 will be the total number of children and total number of women who are affected by obesity in the year 2006. We need to find the difference. So difference for both the values will be 5475 so finally we got the answer 5475 for question number 4 so friends finally we have some four different question on this da number 8 So friends the only important thing you need to know what is x is what percentage of y the format second thing you you should always be faster while solving a ratio while solving a difference while calculating a percentage so practice more number of question so that you can able to crack all the questions faster so thank you so much for watching this video and go to my youtube channel where you can find many number of videos so watch all the videos bye